recession has taken hold in our region. Unemployment has been on the rise, currently around 7%. PNC Bank is predicting that it will top out around 8% by the end of the year. At the same time, there are more than 21,000 jobs open at ImagineMyNewJob.com, so there appears to be a skills mismatch. Allegheny County and the Community College of Allegheny County are seeking to address that by forming a new workforce alliance. And Dr. Charles Bloxich is executive director of the CCAC, Allegheny County Workforce Alliance. So welcome back. Good to see you again. Uh, nice to see you, Bill. Yeah, you all didn't know how foresighted you were last June, <laughs> I, I, I suspect, when, when you began to set this up. That was really before the recession had even started to take, take a hold in the region. Well, that's correct, but uh, I, the, the genesis of, the, of forming the alliance uh, really came from uh, our president, Dr. Johnson, and County Executive Dan Honorado that wanted the community college to play a, a major role in workforce development and really to create a partnership with workforce and economic development. And the role of the alliance is to, is to, is to, uh, is to work in partnership with local government, uh, state government, the federal government, uh, businesses, um, other training agencies in the community, and trying to bring together this whole economic development and workforce development component. A, a lot of players in the space and probably a lot more disconnects than anybody is, is happy about. Well, it's always been that way, hmm. and uh, I think that it's uh, it's one of those issues that's really hard to get your arms around. Uh, there's there's data, there's a lot of information, but there always seems to be that ongoing disconnect between the needs of the employers and also the kinds of skills and no and knowledge base that uh, that uh, their workers are required to have. So, with the alliance, what we're hoping to achieve is is by is by playing a part in, in, in the economic development component, by working closely with businesses, working closely with the county and with the city, that will be able to identify what this skill workforce disconnect is and address those needs. It, it really hit home to me, ho home to me just, just recently. A statistic came out. I think it was the most recent sort of employment statistic for the region that said year over year we've lost about 20,000 jobs from our peak. And yet I know this website that the Allegheny Conference operates, imaginemynewjob.com, has 20,000 jobs yes. open on it. So mm -hmm. you would think the math would be real easy. We'll take the 20,000 people mm -hmm. from over here and we'll put them there. But that's where the skills mismatch comes in. It doesn't always work that way. Well, in some instances, and I, and I think in other instances, it's a matter of communication as mm -hmm. well. Um, you know, we work with uh, uh, the local workforce investment board is is very much a part in identifying what that where the mismatch may occur, and also with CareerLink, and we work very closely with both of those entities to attempt to ensure that we're going to be able to address uh, those workforce needs, and it's even become more complicated uh, with the recession. Um, and and the reason for that is that the data that we have, when we look at labor statistics and we look at the, the numbers that we have that show where the jobs might be, that data is six months to 12 months old. So in this period of transition, it's making it even more difficult. What we try to do is that, you know, we, we try to keep on top of that. We, we've run current surveys. Uh, we try to look at, at data as current as it can be. And one of the things that we've done is that we've created this the dislocated workers program. And what the alliance is doing and what the college is doing is that we are offering on a tuition and fee waiver basis uh, free tuition uh, for those individuals that have lost their jobs due to the economic climate. And we've identified certain short-term certificate programs for which these people would be eligible for. Now, the short-term certificate programs, we've concentrated them in a couple areas, and, and one of them would be in, in health care. Now, our, our instincts would tell us, although there's some shifting going on there, that essentially there still is a need uh, for people in, in, in nursing assistant areas and in uh, certainly in allied health and in those in those areas in, in the healthcare industry. So we we've, we've tried to 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 gear people into those certificate areas and and hopefully they'll be able to find employment. 
and we've got a reasonable reasonable degree of confidence that that's going to occur. Now, is, and is that the kind of thing this alliance will do on an ongoing basis, or once the, we get through the crisis of the recession, will you be doing more longer-term strategies to try to deal with this, this mismatch? Well, obviously, we're going to look at longer-term strategies at, at that point. Uh, the program that we've initiated now is, is a 24-month is a program, and it's a maximum of 36 credits. And we're offering, we, we have 10 certificate programs that we'll be launching in May. Uh, we launched five in, in March. In fact, today we had our first uh, graduating cohort in the nursing aid, uh, nursing aid area. Uh, we graduated nine dislocated workers. Okay. And this afternoon, they, fortunately, they're having in, uh, an interview with UPMC uh, about employment opportunities. Uh, so it's exciting to see that we had people go through a dislocated workers program. Uh, the key thing is to provide them with, with, with certainly good training, but the objective is to see that they get a job at the end of the pipeline, and, and we're hopeful that that's going to occur. As we move forward, we're certainly going to look at, at, at longer-term initiatives. So how many, how many students are involved in this program right now? Uh, initially, in our, in, uh, when we launched the program in March, we have 113 uh, students in, involved in five, in five uh, certificate areas. Um, when we initiated this program, we had 600 inquiries, and we had 113 finally show up. When we advertised the, the uh, uh, 10 pro certificate programs that we're going to offer in May, we've had 1,200 uh, inquiries. Okay, well, the uh, economy's slowing down. I think that's probably that's some probably of the evidence. Of People want to find out about it. Free training. You can't knock that if you want to redirect your career and your life. How do they find out about this? Well, they can call. Uh, it's 412-788-7351. Uh, it's a call center that takes uh, takes uh, will take their name, the program they're interested in, and put them in contact with the right staff person at the college. All right. Well, congratulations. Obviously, it's important work, especially right now. Dr. Charles Bloxage from the CCAC Allegheny County Workforce Alliance. Thanks so much. Thank you. Good to see. You. Thank you. Coming up next, we'll meet another group of young people who are tapping into the groundswell of jobs that are going begging in our region. We'll delve into Imagine Week when we return.